June 23rd through the 29th is the 2013 National Lightning Safety Awareness Week. The National Weather Service in San Angelo would like to share some general lightning information as well as some safety tips to help keep you and your family safe in the event that a thunderstorm threatens your area. Let's look at some lightning facts. Uh, lightning uh, over the past 30 years uh, has averaged more than 50 fatalities each year in the United States. Uh, in fact, the average is 52 from 1983 to 2012. This ranks third uh, in thunderstorm-related deaths uh, following tornadoes and flooding. Uh, education, though, has helped reduce this number by nearly 30% over the past decade. Uh, the last 10 years, uh, we've averaged uh, 35 fatalities a year across the United States. Uh, there are approximately 300 documented injuries each year. However, not all injuries are reported, uh, so this number is uh, not as accurate as the uh, fatality uh, information. 80% of all lightning casualties are male. Uh, and this is supported by this uh, study that was uh, looking at 210 cases from 2006 to 2011 in which 81 percent of all casualties were of the, uh, the, the male sex. Uh, the estimated damages across the country uh, range in the billions of dollars each year as well. Uh, lightning, uh, an interesting factoid here, can heat the air to more than 50,000 degrees Fahrenheit and may carry in excess of 1 million volts of electricity. Uh, that in itself uh, should tell you how dangerous lightning can be. Some uh, statistics for the state of Texas. Uh, Texas averages 2.9 million cloud-to-ground lightning strikes per year, and uh, that's more than twice as much as the next state. However, uh, Texas is a large state, so we have to take that into account when comparing the numbers. Um, the uh, third most lightning fatalities in the United States belongs to Texas uh, over the past decade where we've had 23 deaths due to lightning. Uh, studies show that uh, approximately two-thirds of all lightning fatalities uh, fall into the work-related and recreational activities. Uh, again, this uh, study from 2006 to 2011 shows that 62% of all uh, lightning casualties uh, were uh, of the leisure variety, with 14% uh, being uh, work-related. This is a flash density map of the United States, which shows the average amount of cloud-to-ground lightning strikes per unit area, uh, which uh, takes the, uh, the large uh, size of Texas into account and uh, kind of washes that out. We can see that the uh, primary area for lightning strikes crawls, falls across the uh, Florida Peninsula, but uh, you know we do see a large amount of uh, you know yellow and uh, red and orange colors that indicate uh, fairly high flash density across all of the southern plains, lower Mississippi Valley, uh, all the way across the uh, Gulf Coast states. Let's look at some lightning myths. Um, lightning uh, never strikes twice in the same place. Uh, we've uh, heard that uh, adage our entire lives, but it's just simply not true. Uh, it's been well documented that lightning may strike certain objects quite frequently. Uh, take, for example, the uh, Empire State Building in New York City. Uh, the spire at the top of the building is actually a lightning rod designed to protect the structure from lightning strikes. Uh, and uh, during thunderstorms, uh, this uh, lightning rod may take uh, several strikes during uh, each individual storm. Uh, a second myth is that rubber tires keep you safe in a car. Uh, well, the fact is that most cars are safe, but it's not due to the rubber tires. It's largely uh, due to the metal frame uh, that uh, makes up that vehicle. Uh, this metal frame takes the charge around the occupant of the vehicle uh, down to the ground through the tires and uh, will keep you relatively safe. Uh, the third myth is that a lightning strike victim may hold an electrical charge, making medical assistance dangerous. Well, uh, the uh, first thing that you want to do is assess the, the environment and make sure that it's safe to administer first aid. Uh, but you want to do this as quickly as possible, including CPR if needed. Uh, the human body simply does not store electricity, so this myth is false. Uh, the final myth we're going to examine here is if you're outside in a thunderstorm, it's advisable to take shelter beneath a tree or in any other uh, tall object as well. Uh, you do not want to stand uh, beneath a tall object as it will be uh, attracting uh, probably the uh, first lightning strike in the area uh, due to its proximity to the thunderstorm base. In fact, uh, being under a tree is a leading cause of lightning uh, casualties. Uh, we'll look at some tips here. Um, what you want to do is plan ahead and know the weather forecast before you head out. Uh, this will help you uh, sort of in the back of your mind uh, you know, formulate a plan uh, so that you know what to do whenever a thunderstorm approaches your area. 
the best uh, way to avoid harm uh, when a thunderstorm approaches is to be inside of a safe structure. Uh, a safe structure is one that we define as being fully enclosed with a roof, walls and a floor, and has plumbing or wiring to serve as a grounding. You want to stay away from showers, sinks, tubs, and electrical equipment. And this includes your computers, corded telephones, stoves and radios, basically anything that plugs into the wall. Uh, lightning often enters a house via a direct strike. Wires are pipes that extend outdoors or through the ground. And uh, any unsafe structures are, are generally common sense, uh, and they include tents, patios, carports, uh, dugouts at a baseball or a softball field, as well as greenhouses and sheds. Uh, those are areas that you want to avoid. So what do you do if you're caught outside in a thunderstorm? Uh, well, the first thing you would like to do is try to find a safe structure. Uh, however, that doesn't always exist, so you would, uh, second, look to take shelter inside of a safe vehicle. A safe vehicle uh, would include most automobiles, uh, but uh, obviously wouldn't include uh, objects such as, you know, a bicycle, motorcycle, or uh, even a golf cart for that matter. Uh, you would uh, probably uh, be advised to spread out, and that's to avoid multiple victims in the event that a lightning strike does occur, and uh, that would uh, limit the uh, amount of uh, casualties due to a single strike. Places you want to avoid, uh, that includes tall objects or high ground, standing water, metal objects, or open spaces. Um, things such as fences would uh, be wise to avoid as well. Uh, fences that, uh, you know, contain uh, metal uh, for one thing. Uh, there have been instances where a chain link fence or barbed wire fence has been struck by lightning with the current traveling a large distance down this fence and uh, injuring or, or killing um, animals or people uh, that are standing near that fence. This is an interesting photo uh, that uh, shows uh, what happens uh, ahead of a lightning strike. Uh, if, you, if you feel your skin begin to tingle or your hair begins to stand on end like the folks in this photo, it's uh, due to the rapid buildup of static charge. And this is often uh, looked at as Mother Nature's final warning before a lightning strike occurs. Uh, however, it's not a reliable indicator uh, many lightning strikes do occur without this particular warning uh, in advance of, of the uh, strike itself. Um, it, I would uh, like to uh, point out that these individuals did make it to a safe location once they realized what was going on, so no harm was, uh, was done. But uh, you do not want to be in the shoes of uh, these individuals when something like that occurs. Uh, if you do experience uh, you know, something like this, you would like to seek shelter immediately. If you can't find shelter, uh, you want to crouch as low as you can to the ground on the balls of your feet and uh, ball up. And this is to reduce your contact with the ground as well as make yourself a very small target. Uh, the one thing you do not want to do is lie flat on the ground as that increases your surface area and contact with the ground and is much more dangerous than taking this crouching position. The bolt from the blue is uh, is a relatively rare occurrence. Uh, it's typically a you know associated when somebody says that a lightning strike came from nowhere. Uh, what happens is uh, the lightning strike uh, originates up in the anvil portion of the thunderstorm, which may overhang the uh, clear area off to the side of the uh, the main rain shaft. Um, this lightning strike then moves horizontally away from the storm before angling down toward the surface. Uh, sometimes these bolts have uh, been documented to strike up to 25 miles away from the parent thunderstorm, and this gives it the uh, the appearance that it's actually occurring out, uh, you know, in the middle of nowhere, uh, not associated with a thunderstorm. But a good rule of thumb is that if you can hear thunder from a nearby thunderstorm, uh, that storm is uh, close enough uh, for lightning to be a danger. And here's a, uh, just a quick and dirty method to sh you know, kind of estimate how far away a particular lightning strike is. Um, light associated with the lightning strike will reach our eyes almost instantaneously due to its extremely high speed. Uh, however, the speed of sound is not quite as fast. Sound travels at approximately 343 meters per second, which is roughly 700 miles per hour, or one-fifth of a mile per second. So in five seconds, the sound of the thunder will travel approximately one mile. Uh, the uh, simple equation that you would use is just to take the number of seconds that occurs between the lightning strike and the uh, thunder that follows and divide that by five, and that'll give you a rough distance in miles. Uh, for instance, if there's ten seconds uh, elapsing between the lightning and the thunder, uh, you divide it by five, you come up with two, so that uh, lightning strike occurred two miles from where you're located. 
Again, this is the National Weather Service, and uh, we hope you uh, take some good information away from this uh, lightning safety video. Uh, be safe out there, and we'll keep you updated with your uh, current forecast.